Our championship game against the Titans was 29 days away. But instead of staying in Shanghai to practice with my teammates, I was headed home for the holidays. So I could see my family and check in with the good folks at Barstool HQ. I'd need to find some way to help my squad from the other side of the planet. So uh, we are here in Barstool HQ in Manhattan. I'm back in the US for the holidays. Now apparently one of the business guys here is like a football savant. Breaks down Tampa Bay Bucks film for fun, pretty much. So this right here, this right here, I got a bunch of Shanghai Titans game film. And, you know, hopefully he can give me a few tips. Steven Chia, is that his name? Oh, fucking hey. He's breaking down film as we speak. How's it going, my man? I, you know, I told you I'd be bringing you some game film, yeah. and uh, it's right here. Got about four games of the Shanghai Titans. Four games, last four, beautiful. Apparently, their QB is a feisty one. Yeah? Yeah, he's like, he's a triple threat. Can run, throw, uh, yeah, pretty much can just run and throw. So I'm gonna need like, just like, a breakdown of their offense yeah. on my desk by Monday. You no think problem, Chris, this morning? Perfect. Oh yeah, shit, that is Christmas. Yeah, just like shoot me over a PDF or something. What exactly do you do, you do here? Uh, this. Oh, this, okay. Yeah, yeah. And sales? Uh, yeah, when I have time. Okay. I'm sure you'll figure it out. You got it. There you go. work. With Stephen Che taking care of the mental prep, I had to get prepared physically. But unfortunately, there was no football team in the States that I could practice with, and the only gym membership I could afford no judgment, sir. was Planet Fitness. I'll be completely honest with you. I felt like such a sack of shit on that stair machine while the rest of my team was grinding out four-hour practices back in China. I was extremely skeptical that my workout routine was getting me into championship shape. But hopefully my guy Steve had found something to give me a mental advantage. Hey, Donnie. All right, bud. How you doing? Good to see you. Excited to uh, see what you discovered. Yes, there's a lot of very interesting stuff. So I actually charted all four of the game tapes you gave me. Um, very interesting stuff, both statistically and on the film I'd like to go over with you. They operate out of three different formations. 21 personnel, they run that 56% of the time. In that formation, they run the ball 68% of the time. When they do that formation, two out of three times, it's gonna be a run. Another thing they uh, use a lot is 11 personnel. They do pass it 65% uh, of the time out of that formation. They run a handful of uh, four wide. Every time they run that, it is a pass. Of their run plays uh, that I charted with this quarterback, 86% of the time they either ran to the middle or the left. They very rarely run to the right. They throw the ball 82% of the time on third down. I mean, um, I'm not really a math guy, so like, none of this makes sense to me. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What is this like? I don't like, what am I supposed to do with this information? That'll just give you better keys um, when you know, the ball's about to be snapped. What, uh, if you should be rushing the passer, keeping contained, uh, keeping your eyes more on the running back, uh, things like that. Um, yeah, okay, yeah, sure. So, something that this center really struggles with is any movement and pressure right in his gap. So, this is called the A gap. I know what it's called. Okay. I know the gap names, all right. Okay. So, all right. playing the entire season. <laughs> all right, well, here's the A gap. Um, what this guy's going to do right here is sugar the A-gap, so he's going to show the center his feet, which means that the center thinks he's coming. The center gets nervous a lot. So take a look at this. The center on this series gave three consecutive bad snaps where he puts it on the ground because the defense is right up in his grill. Ah, uh, yeah. So my keys to the game right here. Number one, as I just mentioned, attack the A gap. Yeah, and just or just make him nervous. Yeah, make yeah. the center nervous. The center yeah. gets a little jitters, Dance gets the yips. Like that. Yeah. You want to really make him put the ball on the ground. 
Number two, your job directly, keep QB contained. Yeah. This quarterback can hurt you more with his legs than he can with his arm. Mm -hmm. Beware of that. And then the linebackers, I'd like to see them ride the pipe because they do like to utilize the seam pass with the, both the fullback and the tight end. What does ride the pipe mean? Sounds kind of weird. It means uh, the linebacker is going to go down the middle of the field with his oh. back to, towards the quarterback. Okay. All right, nice. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I just like... I don't want someone on the team getting mad at me because I tell them to ride the pipe. All right, well, um, I got a few days to brush up. I'll be reading this on the flight, man. Thanks a lot. I know this isn't your official job title, but uh, you're, you're really doing me a solid. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, Donnie. Can I keep this? Yeah. All right. Can I keep the board, too? Or, yeah. Sick. I forwarded Steve's notes to my coaches to see if they could make any sense of them and then ask my coworkers for any last minute advice. You should uh, do the thing where you headbutt one of your teammates before the game without wearing a helmet. That gets everybody psyched. Don't eat chunky soup beforehand, because then you might puke. That's happened in a championship game before, allegedly. Uh, stay low. And, you know, if you gotta play dirty, play dirty. Because they're gonna play dirty, I promise you. You're gonna be the only token white guy. No, I'm not the only one. Well, act, play like you are. He should lead with his head and not wear a mouth guard um, and then sue whatever shoddy Chinese organization is putting this on for head trauma. Because I feel like they're way behind on that sort of thing. Contain. A lot of people think it's about the pass rush, but underrated, underestimated parts containing the quarterback. As it turned out, my own boss was unaware that I was even playing football in China and had been using company money to fly to all the games. <laughs> what does that even mean? No, I, good luck, I guess. That seems like a big game. I'd have to win this championship so he wouldn't think this whole docu-series was a complete waste of money. I'd also have to win this championship because apparently one of the best football players of all time was rooting for me. Donnie, best of luck in the championship. Go Shanghai Warriors. But most importantly, I'd have to win this championship because of all the hard work my team had been putting in all season. The pressure was on. It was go time. Seven p.m. night before game day. We're doing one last walkthrough with the team. How are you feeling, Alan? Cold. Cold? Hey, long time no see. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been I was back home for the holidays. I feel bad. I haven't been with the team all month. They've been out here practicing every Saturday. I was back in the states, just celebrating Christmas, having a happy New Year. Remember, you two are going to be playing a game, all right? Yep. So you guys are going to be rotating between who grabs this tight end and who doesn't grab him, okay? I'm still jet lagged, but tomorrow, no time for excuses. Wonton, come on. You're at left contain. Johnson, you're at L2. Dennis, My you're at left pit man. I've been an average athlete. But tomorrow, 1.30 p.m., it's time to be great. Hey, look, honestly, guys, I know it's a championship game, but guess what? It's just another game, okay? There'll be a thousand or so people there. We're gonna be the underdog. 
about 900 of those people are going to be cheering for the other team. It doesn't really matter. It's just another game. We have nothing to lose. Okay? Everyone expects them. Everyone expects them to win. Okay? So all the pressure's on them. Nothing's on us. All right? You play your game. You dominate. You do your job. Execute your job to the best of your ability, and we'll let the chips fall where they fall. It's time to go home and get some sleep. Although my fucking internal clock's all fucked up. What what time is it now? 7.44 p.m. It feels like 7.44 a.m. to me, so who knows if I'll even get to sleep. The battle for Shanghai was upon us.